How did it get this far? How did they get to three hours before release, before full official wide release, before finally realizing, hey, uh, the way we designed everything around the shooting, the, the way we designed everything around everything in this game is poor. How did they get this far? Who had to be made to listen? Like, who was there one person at the top that was like, no, this is, we got revenue targets to hit, we got to do this. You said no season pass, so we got to do this. This is how it is. It'll be fine. The Star Wars is fine. Like, how how did the, the number of times they walked back parts of it around the beta and all that other stuff, when they, for, you know, the multiple times they've had to come out and say, hey, we're listening and we're going to make some changes. How did they get to three hours, four hours, whatever it was, before the release of the game, or you know, or wide release, you know, since Friday, for so so basically like a full week of people being able to play the game in some format. How did they get that far into this multi-year project before finally going like, oh, we fucking fucked up? Oh my god, how did we really? F- Guys, I think we might have fucked this one up. I'm looking at this chart. It looks, it doesn't look good. Like, what's the metric? Is the metric Disney getting on the phone and saying, what the fuck are you guys doing up there? I saw this story. CNN says you're, Belgium says you guys are scumbags? Is that what happens? Does Disney call up and say, hey, we read this thing about the Belgian government? Uh, what's going on? What, you did what with Darth Vader? Like, how does this happen? How did, how does it happen? Like, is there, is there like one team responsible for the entirety of the progression and how the microtransactions work? Or did a team work on the progression and star card and, and, and load out building stuff? And then were they then forced to rebuild it to accommodate the system of crates and I like that their statement also says like, oh yeah, we're turning this back on when we fix it. <laughs> like, oh, all right. I guess that means you're not going to give anybody refunds who already spent money, huh? Because someday, because that stuff will be of value at some point. Is that, is that how this goes? What a year for electronic arts. Like, at the end of the day, I don't think that game is great. Like, you know, if you unlocked everything tomorrow... Well, I mean, well, maybe that's not, you know, that's not what you would do. Because if you unlocked everything tomorrow, then the game suddenly has no progression. And kind of nothing to strive for, as it were. But when I look at, like, just the basic shooting and the the quality of the writing and the story and the, and the quality of the encounters in the story. Some of them are, are neat, uh, but a lot of them are not great uh, from what I've played of it so far. I'm, I'm over halfway through campaign at this point. I'll probably just finish it at this point because I feel like I should to see how that affects my opinions of it one way or the other. Uh, though I was talking to some folks today who have finished the campaign who said that they think it's, the story ends poorly, so whatever that's worth. Um, I, it, it's... Like, it's still, that like, I, you know, if you, if you just fix the way, if you change the way you unlock stuff, that's still a middling game. You know, like, I, I, I don't think that they've made enough improvements over the first game. Like, it has, I, I feel like it has all the same problems the first game has, basically. I'm just like, ah, oh, this is like a really kind of slight experience. Oh, well, part of that's the gear, right? I mean, you know, like it, part of it is like the gun options for the different classes don't feel meaningful or great. Uh, and the equipable cars, like basically like the loadout you build of up to three cards that might enhance or replace your class abilities and like the weapons and the mods for the weapons, like none of that stuff seems very good. Like, those options don't seem meaningfully interesting to me. Because a lot of it's stuff like, oh, you got the, canar- the card for better grenades, so equip that and you'll have a better grenade. 
Or you get this other card that changes your grenade into something else, I guess, if you want to do that. Like, you do have a few options along those lines, but then some of it's like, hey, one of these cards increases the turn radius of the ship, which seems like that'd be good in a dogfight. Maybe take that. I don't know. Like, it just seems like that you'll find, I, I don't know. It, it doesn't, I have not put in the time to say one way or the other, but it's not the sort of thing where every card seems balanced against each other. It, it, you look at it and you go like, well, these cards are the good ones. I would rather have high level versions of these cards than any of these other cards. But in order to upgrade the cards that are good, you have to increase the card level of that class. So you're going to end up striving to get all the cards anyway, if you truly want to upgrade it. It's, what, a it's, what a mess of a system. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Staggering that this, again, how does this happen? That's the story I, I would like to hear. When do you think they knew? I'm sure there were people, like, you know, very close to the game, like, designing those systems and stuff like that, that, that knew a year ago that they were working on something that, like, oh, I don't think people are going to like this very much, but that's what we're making, so that's what I got to make. You know, like, did they not focus test it? Like, did they not bring other eyes in? You know, like, like EA, if nothing else. Well, for, right, they had the, the E3 stuff where they were like, but we brought in some YouTubers. We brought in the Game Changers. Did the Game Changers tell them that it was all cool because they had been flown in by EA and they were like, oh, this is great. All this stuff's great. You guys are great. This is great. <laughs> is that how it went? Please fly me more places. This is awesome. How's that go down? How do you get to hours before your game's release and you're posting shit like, oh, we're, uh, we're like emergency turning off the thing where you can pay stuff. Last time I checked, actually, so the game, uh, at least on Xbox One, I think the, they were pulled completely on PS4 and PC, but on the Xbox, you could still search the Microsoft store and still find the credit packs, but they would not show up in-game as purchasable. So you could, you could still, if you really want to get in on some last-minute crystals, better with EA Access, better pricing, 10% off, <laughs> that option is still available. How's it happen? How? It seems like it would be impossible for them to get to this point without realizing what they had done. That That's the... the it feels like this seems like something they should have realized like kind of a while ago. They're just stubborn about it? It, it, must have, it had to have been external pressure at that point, right? Like, even if there were people internally that were like, this doesn't seem like a good one. Like, it had to just be like, whatever, you're, you're a hater. Which I've definitely seen a lot of companies get into that mentality, which is fun. You're just not on the team. You're not being a team player here. Come on, Sparky, we've got to make some money around here. You know, like that type of shit. So maybe you get something like that. But then as this gets louder and louder and messier and messier, you get that, C what was it? it was a CNN story about the Belgian government. That's the point where, I mean, that's the point where you're doing damage to the, the brand of Star Wars. That's the point where your, your license, your licensor, licensee, licensee, the person who, the company that holds the license, it's the point where Disney, like, makes the, like, gives them a call and just goes, hey, um, seriously, what the f like, there are some people that are pretty, like, that are even, like, a little shaky. Star Wars is our thing. You can't, don't fuck up our thing. Don't get your fucking grime all over our shit. Yes, I know we signed off on this, but don't, it, we are unsigning off on this. I wonder if EA looks at the Star Wars stuff right now and wishes that they had gone a different way. I wonder if they look at what Star Wars has done to that company. Well, I wonder where it nets out. Like, if they're, if you know, they probably look at it and go, like, actually, Star Wars made us a lot of money, and the mobile game does really well, and fuck you. It's, it was probably where they, they come out on. But when you look at this, the amount of money they must, you know, the and, and, and even Battlefront 1, whatever, they sold 14 million fucking copies of that game. They have to be happy with that. Man, wow. Just, I was trying to think earlier, I was standing around talking to some folks from GameSpot about it, and trying to think of anything else like this. Like, any, any... Like, any case like this where... 
I guess maybe Schreier had it. Had it right with the Xbox One stuff that, with that comparison. And I wonder if EA will, if it'll go the same way for them. I wonder if word of mouth is already so bad for that thing that, uh, like what uh, Daniel Amat was saying on Twitter about that this this is likely to happen because of where day one sales were heading. And you're like, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's maybe I don't know. I you know you always tend to write that stuff off as like, oh well, you know, the, like people are pissed, but there's this wide swath of audience that doesn't pay attention to the that side of the internet at all and they'll just buy it whatever so maybe maybe that got loud enough to impact the larger sales or maybe got loud enough to where yeah it's like a reputation thing it's like this is you know ea can't suffer another fucking blow like this after mass effect like they just you know like ea just, i feel like has lost a lot of credibility this year in terms of just as a game maker between mass effect this need for speed uh, you know, the, the visceral closure Star Wars stuff there, which is a different thing than the other ones because it's not a shipping game, but... And then, you know, for whatever, you know, for whatever reason, this is, like, the best Madden has been in a long time, right? Like, people seem to really, really like that story mode in Madden. So, like, there's that. Uh, it's, yeah... It's like the week before Need for Speed came out that I think I said, yeah, I don't know about this stuff. I, just, I haven't heard great things about what I said on the podcast. Yeah, there's, there's, they're being a little weird about Need for Speed and haven't heard great things about Battlefront. And here we are. Like, it, it's, it's weird. You know, it, this is all, like, very exciting because it's, like, so fucking dramatic and wild. But it's not a good thing. Like, this fucking sucks for video games. That this stuff, you know, happens at all. You know, like... like That they would have designed this system to begin with. And then retract it. And then go through all this stuff. Like, this just sucks. It just fucking sucks. Yeah. I'm going to get Peter Moore on the phone. I'm just driving, just like fucking still just here, just blown away. I'm a little surprised they didn't do anything more dramatic, but I guess at some point, like, if they're going to rebuild the progression, they don't want to just cannibalize it completely out of the gate. I would have thought they would have said, like, hey, we're unlocking all the heroes, like... You know, you won't have cards for them or anything like that. But hey, just here are the heroes. Base level, card level one. I'm surprised they don't look at... I mean, whatever, they make other fucking shooters. They've made them before. Like, you know, you look at the total time to unlock. Like, time to prestige in something like Call of Duty. You know, wouldn't you just look at that and go like, okay, well... Let's, uh... Let's try to make our unlock path take about that long. You know, if you, if you want to, like, get into the microtransaction stuff, maybe you lengthen it out a little bit to get people to buy a box or two. But the way that thing was built is just so fucking bananas. Like, how do you... How does it happen? How does it happen? And I wonder, like, you know, does does the battle... From, and maybe there's external... Pre- in fact, I, I... Well, I would bet that at some point they got some external pressure from Disney on this one. That's my guess. Is at some point Disney were like, hey, so... What you guys working on? Uh, or whatever. But, but you wonder if, like... Once they saw this completely 
completely spinning out of control on them. If they're like, like, like how much the the how much does Mass Effect Andromeda impact this decision? Like, how wounded are they from that still? Where they're just like, oh fuck, we gotta, oh just turn them off, just fucking turn them off. Holy shit. still just over here fucking thinking about that shit. Man. Man. I feel bad for the team that has to fucking now do the cleanup work to rebuild this system as quickly as possible. Maybe it's easy. Maybe they designed the system without money and then ruined it with the money stuff later and they can just roll back to to that design, build it out, you know, to tweak the menus to accommodate, and then figure out the the softer way to put the, the real money stuff in. I, I I wonder how long that's that takes. That's gotta be like fucking A1 top priority for that entire company right now, right? God imagine. launch week and you're suddenly like scrambling to redesign like a fairly major part of the product like one that usually like has kind of a lot of thought and math put into it after like making multiple tweaks to it in the months leading up to launch to find out that like no that's still not good enough like we need to we need to really gut this thing or maybe they just say this and and try to get good PR out of it and then the thing that they roll out is not that different and not that much better but by the time they do it everyone who would complain will have moved on and will just not give a shit I wonder if Forza's microtransactions have rolled in yet. Let's check. <sighs> Fucking video games, man. Business gets weirder and weirder every year. <laughs> 